everyone, I'm back in here with Dr. John and some of you are asking me about how to don't have any fear while you're in fighting. Now this is the, it's a quite a, a, a tough question because sometimes you're in a fighting while you're in a fighting in the first place and if you don't like fears then why you get into the fighting? I've got no idea but some of you are asking me this question. So I find my brother here come from a different mother. We have a same hair. See? <laughs> so that way that one more bigger than me but uh, that idea is uh, he will tell you a little bit about it so you can get an idea because we talk a lot about this already so Dr. John they're asking this question so how they can able to learn to understand this while they're in training right okay so in training okay now I know a lot of guys who are fantastic in training when it comes to let's say a real-life situation where they have to deploy those moves suddenly they freeze up now this happens a lot this is a very very normal um, part of our bodies, our, our physiology, which changes our nervous system. So suddenly, okay, in, in training, we're like, bah, 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 we look really strong, okay. Suddenly, real life situation, let's say I'm a doorman, okay, suddenly, mm -hmm, okay, ooh, you know, hands get clammy, you know, we start feeling sick. This is very normal, okay. What we have to do is return our breathing back to what it is when it's relaxed, okay. Now, fear, okay, so dan danger is there. Okay, I've got this guy, you know, he's, he's, he's ready to attacking, boom, okay. danger, so we're here. Now, danger is real, but fear, how you respond to fear is very much a choice, and how you choose that is you breathe, okay? If you're hungry, you eat. If you're nervous and scared, you breathe. You just have to breathe, okay? And when you concentrate on your breathing, your physical and your mental faculties return back to you. Now, I have it a lot where, you know, it's like, um, you could be um, a doorman, okay? Mm -hmm. You're about to disperse some, um, some, some, crowd. yeah, some crowds, and you've got uh, a guy who's about to ask a girl to marry him, or you're about to go do a driving test, or you're about to do a presentation. Suddenly, okay, <sighs> you kick in. Okay. Mm. So you know what? How you breathe is so important, okay? If you've done the training, okay? If you've done the training and you concentrate on your breathing, okay? Your body will, will do it. Your body will respond accordingly, okay? So it's like you breathe, you're nice and relaxed, you're more likely to be, you know, in, 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 in the flow. Yeah, yeah in the flow. Absolutely. And that, that's where you want to be. So, where, so any, anyone who ever says, oh, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, for the most part, they are They're lying. They're, yeah. Because that element of, the, you don't know what, I don't know what he has on him. I don't know what, I, I, I know that he wants to deck me, but I don't know. If How are we going to deck you? Yeah. Does he have friends? Mm -hmm. okay. are, the, are the CCTV cameras going to be there? You know, so these are all things that we need to take into account within a snap. You know, within a split second. This is all go back to the basic rule. The rule is when you get into fight or flight, yeah, your body start to kick in because you're nervous. You're on something unknown, something mm. you've never been there before. Yeah. If you've been there, you're more calm down. Yeah. If you're not been there, you're not sure. You're nervous. So it's go back to the basic rule, like Dr. John just talking about. It's very, very true. When you're in a situation like this, you start to breathe shallow breathing. You're very shallow when you breathe. When you shallow breathe, there's not much oxygen into your body. Your brain starts to work in 24 hours to identify what is going He's going to kill me. What happened here? Uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? There's so many things going on and you haven't got enough oxygen going to your body. What happened when you've got, not got enough oxygen? Exactly. You panic. One punch will take me out. Now, the, the, and that's a shame. You've got, you know, however many years of training gone within a second. That's you know, right. Gone with one. Yeah. You know, one. It's like, it, it could have been a punch that I would have seen coming from last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, but in everything is frozen. So you go, whoop, boom. boom. It's too late. Yeah. We call that paralysis through analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay. The thing is, when we start thinking, think all thoughts are already in the past. Okay. We need to be very present. And to be present, we need to breathe. Okay. And when you start thinking too much, okay. You know what? Everything has already happened. Now, by the time, okay, I'm going to do this move. Oh, no, it's, it's too, too late. late. Too late. You see what I mean? So, you know, you want to be as relaxed as possible. I'm coming in and you're dealing with that. Flow, no, flow with it. Yeah. Yeah, flow with the movement when it comes. And this is when I'm training. I talk a lot about that on to one of my uh, 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 video about fear. It's about thinking. You know, when I set out to doing a lot of work uh, 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 when I'm back, uh, when I'm younger, a little bit, mm -hmm. I don't think. Think gives you a problem. Because you think a lot, okay? When you think a lot, you're scared. You worry because you think what will happen. So in any kind of situation, conversation, or a conversation with anything, if you're thinking it's too late, your mind is in the in somewhere else's. Your body is here. And when you start to respond to it, it's too late. Another thing as well as uh, you just mentioned, Dr. John, is a lot of time it's not about what happened, it's what he's gonna do to you. Yeah. Because you don't know what he's gonna do to you. You don't know. He's gonna hurt you, he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. You don't know. So you have to be in present to be safe. 
be safe and be organized so we know what to do, what to get away, how to move, how to get out of here. If you're gonna fight him, you gotta make sure to cover yeah. the most important part of the body. Absolutely. Yeah? Otherwise, one mistake, and then yeah, that's it. you're not gonna go home. And this is very important. Another thing you gotta understand is any form of fighting is dangerous, it's very dangerous involved. It's not playing like you see some of the video, oh, you punch me, I punch you. It's nothing mm. like that, you know? I've been through a lot. Dr. John been through a lot of that. It's nothing what you think, I would okay? Say real fighting is ugly. It's not where you want to be. Now, if you have to be there, then you got to do what you got to do. But to do that, to facilitate it, you need to breathe. You need mm -hmm. to learn how to compose yourself under pressure. And the worst part of every fight is the bit before it either happens or it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, we're squaring off. Is mm -hmm. this happening or mm -hmm. not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, normally, okay, when we're pushing away, hey, now we know it's happening. Mm -hmm. now, now at least I know. Mm -hmm. if, if it's here, you know, it you could go know. either way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, um, and how you can put, like, he knows if I'm afraid or not. He'll mm -hmm. always know. It's like he can sense fear. It. You, you're like, just, just sending the fear. Yeah. Yeah. No. The way the, the idea is that that's why on our, on this uh, we uh, chop it in to get you understand us so or the seminar we're talking about mm -hmm. that we do with Doctor John. It's about when you see somebody, mm -hmm. you got that understand identify the side. Is he aggressive? Non aggressive. You look at Doctor John hand already. You know this guy been punching wall. I don't want near him. If he put the hand up like this. It's very dangerous for me. I will be shit my pen, okay? I will be goddamn man that's scared. Now that is already losing. I losing before I even started. Yeah. Okay? I already lose. So you look at him, this is like this is bad already. That is like cheese it crazy. This is like he been decorated a lot of people face, okay? So I know that. So it is a big problem. So I need to know what's going on. Yeah. I need to look at him. I need to look at his awareness and the way he talk, the way he look at me, the way he harness, the way he position. All this got to take and consider in the moment, okay? And prepare because he might got some uh, some stuff on him that he yeah. pulled out his knife. He might, it's many, many things. You have to identify all this situation when you get in there because when you get in there, it can't come back. You can't yeah. back off now. No, no, no. And the thing is, that needs to change accordingly. Your plan needs to change accordingly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Adaptable. So, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it, you know, if I'm very, very confident, for instance, I'm like, okay, well, why is he so confident? Uh, is he very good or mm. does he have something? Mm -hmm. Or does he have backup? So these are all things that you need to take into account within a split second. Now, you choose whether or not you want to deal with that. Now, mm -hmm. now uh, body language as well, reading body language, okay? Now, it's like if I'm very closed. No, I tend to cross my arms a lot because it's it's a self suva Now, what um, a lot of people, they might be quite nervous mm -hmm. doing this, but you Cold. can also deliver a headbutt. Mm -hmm. So there are some many ways of doing it. But I'd say, okay, Control your breathing, okay? Return your breathing back to what it is when it's relaxed. So what I'd say is, if you're at home right now and you are nice and relaxed watching this video, you're probably not even aware of how you're breathing. Mm -hmm. So if you are conscious of how you breathe, this is what you, how you want to breathe all the time, okay? Now, let's say you, me and Master Wong have an argument. I'm going to say some very unsavory things to him. I walk off and I think, you know what, I shouldn't have said those things. And if I was calm, I wouldn't have said all mm -hmm. those things. So why couldn't I have been calm the whole time? So, you know, we want to make sure that we are actually calm all the time. So we are objective. And that way, way we don't create a permanent set of circumstances when we were temporarily angry. Okay. Do you like the lesson me and Dr. John provide for you here? And if you like it, you haven't been visit the website yet. This is the chance to visit my website, the Master Wong. TV. And as always down here, it's an instant message. You can message me on the joining, the problem you have, and I will be here to answer your question and take some time have a look around. Now, me and Dr. John working on the project called Waking the Warrior. Waking the Warrior is a collaboration of working to helping onto the charity and helping people on problem of bully. Now, on this one here is that me and Dr. John when you come down you will see here and click on dr john is seven day challenge on this seven day challenge we're going to go through with all the information that you need to learn about into self-defense today modern day to help you to keep you safe okay have a look around all the information is here everything is there uh, on it and the seven day challenge is there to helping uh raising fund for charity and also the live seminar as well after this okay come in here and check it out and while you in my website take your time and have a look around on it and you can see uh, we have a lot of different things for you the training the instructor program and everything else okay now get your ass back to training so you know i know full well okay i'm like this i'm like this okay, then he decks me but 
because that's gonna feel good. Reactive. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Now I press charges. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see what I mean? Okay. Now he finished that very very quickly. But now he's in a legal battle for mm -hmm. the next couple years. He's got a criminal record. So you see what I mean? So you have to, okay, just be cool. Now, if you're scared or you get angry, okay, that's also not where you want to be because you act rashly and you mm -hmm. make mistakes. Okay, a lot of the um, comments, like I said, you know, people say, oh, Dr. John always seems like a really nice, chill guy. I really am, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's like, um, mm -hmm. so, like, like I'm nice and relaxed all the time. Okay, I know how to breathe. Okay, it's like um, of course when I see a nice girl. Oh, oh God! Mm. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Oh my God! Mm. So no, no, change your breathing mm. back to what it is mm. when it's relaxed because how you come across is therefore different. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I'm nervous, I start mm -hmm. closing up. If I'm nice and you know I'm very open or you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So you need to know how to breathe, and then the rest of your training will come into practice or will, will come into play. Oh, without that. Your it's, problem. Useless. it's a problem. Okay, so that's what is it. Hopefully answer the question, helping you to understand more about fear when you get into the fight, okay? So different situations differently. So uh, we have a seminar coming up uh, very soon and then you can get an idea. Then go through the seven day challenge with us as well. You go through that so you learn a lot of this thing. A lot about awareness, about people, about all different things. So that way you already know a lot about, them, about it before you're coming in. And then from there, we will target to helping you what you need to use and what sort of technique you need to have and what sort of movement is helping you more in your situation that you use day to day. And that's what it's all about. So uh, Dr. John, can you tell a little bit about what is it they need to do and then go from there? But the seven day challenge is there to, des it's designed to help you progress, okay? And every day you will have something new to do, okay? And then, you know, you can give yourself a score and then once you tell it the score, we know how far you are and where you, where, where you need to improve, okay? And then we can work on that, okay? Now, if you're very good at that, if you score very well in that seven days, how consistently is that? Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a lifestyle. Martial arts is a lifestyle. Okay, mm -hmm. and what we're doing here is a lifestyle. It's adjusting your mindset so that you are aware. Okay, not just of the surroundings, but of yourself as well. Okay, so it's very important that you follow through. If you if you are going to do this seven day challenge, okay, you take it seriously. Okay, and you're dedicated to it because. You know, this kind of stuff takes years and tears, years and tears to be, to have some kind of mental discipline, physical discipline. And it's like if you are a driver in a car, okay, doesn't matter if it's a Lamborghini, okay, if the driver is compromised, finished. Yeah. And that's what is it, very basic and simple to helping you. And if you want to know more,